When you see videos of measuring apps using ARKit, they'll all be amazingly accurate, but they'll all have one thing in common. They'll be short videos, they'll be short distances, and they won't involve rotation, or one of these three keys will be missing. Time causes drift errors in the motion detectors to accumulate. Distance causes the same thing, accumulation in these drift errors. And turning corners causes a multiplication of these drift errors. For tape measuring apps, this error is going to be hard to detect, especially in videos, because you're going to need like a 35-foot tape that goes around corners before you can see the errors. For this type of app, it's very easy to see that error because the first point you put in is going to drift away from where you put it. So let's see how it does. Don't try this at home or with a measuring app. I'm going to do some pirouettes and jump up and down. But wait, I'm in one of those apps. I'm in Floor Area AR. Let's see how it does. Now I'm going to purposely take a long time, so I'll probably speed this video up, and I'll purposely do a lot of turns, which you already saw me do. What's going on in this app is I'm doing a bunch of extra calculations. I'm actually, every five seconds, redetermining where the floor is, redetermining where the points are. That's why this app can be that much more accurate. Now, every app is going to have a quotient of error, and even laser pointers will have a quotient. My job here is to make that as small as possible. And the key here is watching the detailed videos of how to set up for this. You'll notice that the white grid is already on, and I've already done a scan, and I've covered every square foot of this floor before I started this. That's why it's going to be incredibly accurate. But right here where I'm standing now is where I did the pirouette. I'm going to look back and I'm going to notice, oh, those points are off. But my app is already correcting for that as we speak every five to ten seconds because we've just pointed at those other points and the app saw more of the floor associated with those points. These points I'm putting in now, I'm putting in to show you that they'll be off. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to rescan basically the area of the floor where I did those pirouettes. And you'll see the points jump back to where they were supposed to be in the first place. Walk back towards your original points and scan the floor as you go. And every five seconds, the app will correct itself and there it goes. And start walking back towards the point where I did the pirouettes. First, I'm going to actually, I'm going to put in some points over here because I know that the app's already corrected. So I'm going to put in some more points. Then I'm going to go look, make sure it really is corrected. Okay, yep, yeah, it is. But here I'm starting to scan the area where I did the pirouettes to get it back so it doesn't jump anymore when I go across this point. And I'm looking back to see that the two points are in the right spot. The points on the right here will be off because I put them in while the app was in the, let's call it the danger zone. I'm just doing a scan, making sure the points are still there. So they are. Now I'm going to go correct all the points that were off. Look down this one, get this other point that was just thrown in at the last minute. Get rid of this extra point that uh, was a starting part of the first square. Looking back, yep, points are still good. These will be off right here because this is right where the pirouette was done. And looking back, yep, points are still good. Also, the, the app is correcting for the floor level, too, uh, every five seconds. This is an extra step that nobody else is doing, and that's why this app can be so accurate. 
And I'm going to finish up correcting these points that were all off. Okay, I'm looking back, making sure. Sure enough, points are still in the right spot. Everything's looking good. Now I'm going to go, and the best way to see whether an app is doing its job is to look at your first points and see if they're dead on or not. I was going to say close, but that was dead on. I'm going to look around here, see what the other points look like. Again, I purposely spend extra time because that's one of the things that will create poor accuracy. And I did a whole bunch of turning around, which will create poor accuracy. And I did a fairly complex floor plan that has a lot of turns in it, which will create poor accuracy. But as you can see, this app is handling it great. And there's a bunch of other tools in the app to make it even better. Check out the rest of the videos.